So if you struggle with short game, here's a few tips that can help you out. Or if you want to be more consistent, feet pretty close together, bump the hips left so the weight just starts and stays left. We want to minimize any weight shift or sway in, this, in these short shots. Another thing I see help a lot of students is what we call setting the arc. And that's just putting your arms at length. And what that allows for then is we've kind of maxed them out so they can't get lower. And that's going to help eliminate any of this shortening and elongating the club um, action in the stroke. And we can just use our big muscles to move the golf club. Now when we do this, I'll see a lot of students take the club way inside and we don't want that. We still want this club to be traveling online. But as we add those elements with a kind of a centered ball position, and you can check your weight by just lifting up that trail foot, arms straight, and I'm going to complete the motion. I'm not just going to go to the ball. I'm going to go through the ball to the finish. That's going to be key if you really struggle uh, working to get through to that finish position, even if the shots aren't good right away. So we'll hit a couple here. So arms pretty straight, weight favoring left, back and through. Okay, so pretty good result there if you like made shots. Let's do one more. So you'll see I'll set, set my arms. You want to set them up tall. I like to set them to the body, check the weight, and then get to where that club is just lightly resting on the ground. That's kind of the bottom of our arc then. One more shot here. Check the weight. And again, completing that motion just a little bit past there, but working on feet close, hips left. Check the weight. We can set the arms at length and then use the big muscles to move this club back and through to the finish.